Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this easy manicure slash pedicure jar. This is the perfect gift to give to any of your friends or anyone that you know that loves doing nails. This is the perfect and easy and it's very affordable gift. So let's get started and I'll show you guys how easy this is to make. Okay, so what you will need to make this manicure slash pedicure jar is some manicure stuff. Now, I got this stuff at Five Below for $3, which is a good price for this stuff. So it comes with nail clippers, nail filers, scissors, uh, this pink little thing, um, I don't know what it's called, and a cuticle pusher and the little scrub brush. You're also going to need the finger separator thing. I don't exactly know what this is called. Um, I got that at Five Below for a dollar. You're also going to need some travel size nail filers. Now, I also got this at Five Below for a dollar. You're also going to need a bow, and this is optional. A jar of any size, and this is just a candle jar that I took the wax out. You're also going to need nail polish. Now, I am putting in three nail polishes, but you guys can put as many as you want. And if you want to throw a clear coat in there, you can, but I forgot to pick one up. So, I'm just going to be putting these three in. So, I have this gorgeous uh, metallic silver, and it's by Sally Hansen. And I also have this mint uh, green uh, by Ice. And I really like Ice because they're very cheap at Target or Walmart. And I like their brand. It lasts a long time. You're also going to need a type of glitter or any type of other nail polishes you want to do if you wanted to have like an accent nail. Now, if you guys want to throw in gems, you can or whatever. Any type of little uh, accessory for the nail. But I'm not going to do that. You're also going to need some cotton balls. Now, these are just mini ones because that's what I had uh, in the house right now. And you're also going to need some Q-tips. Now, if you want to have Christmas labels, you can, but I only have mailing labels right now, so that's what I have, but that's um, optional if you want. So let's get started, and I'll show you guys how easy this is. What you're going to want to do is take your jar and just take the lid off if you have one on your jar or whatever, um, whatever you're using to put the stuff in. Now, I'm going to be doing my cotton balls first, but you guys can do whatever you want. It does not matter. It depends on what you guys prefer and how you want it to look like, but I'm going to be doing my mini cotton balls first. Because like I said before, that's what I had in the house. And I think that mini cotton balls are more better because they they fit in here more and you can put more in here. So then what you're going to want to do is take your manicure stuff. Now I'm just going to take the stuff I had bought at uh, Five Below. And I'm just going to take that off. And what I'm going to do is also my mini uh, filers because this one is really big and it won't fit in here so that's why uh, if you guys have like a narrow jar like this it's kind of like smaller you want to buy some mini ones now like I said I got this stuff at Five Below for very cheap because I love Five Below so I'm going to be putting uh, the chevron in here now you guys can put as many as you want in there so now I'm going to be putting in the little manicure stuff like the nail clippers in here this thingy my bobber I have no idea what it's called I really don't um, I also forgot to mention in the beginning of the video if you guys want to put a mini uh, nail polish removal you can but I forgot to put that up just like I forgot to clear coat but you guys can uh, do whatever you prefer to so I'm just putting in the cuticle pusher now and the mini scissors that came with it. And then now I'm going to put the brush in there. Now, if you guys uh, have a bigger jar, you can put this in there. If you guys got the same thing at Five Below like I did. But since this won't fit in there, I'm just going to put that aside. And since this is already in here, I don't really need to put another one of these mini ones in here. So I'm just going to put that aside. And now what I'm going to do is just put the nail polish in here. And I'm kind of going to bury it in here just to make it look kind of nice. And then I'm going to take my glitter right here. And then what I want to do is just throw some Q-tips in there. Now, if you had the uh, nail polish removal, uh, you could put that in there. But you might want to uh, put in, in the bigger jar because this one is kind of a little small. But that's okay because that's what I have right now. So I'm just using what I have right now. So this is just what it looks like. And I'm going to be putting in a couple more cotton balls just to kind of like... Uh, put it around and everything and kind of bury everything but not that you can't see it so that is my manicure slash jar and I also forgot to put this in there so 
I'm just going to kind of slide that in here. Now this will fit in here. I just got to make room right here. And that will fit right in here. And that's what my drawer looks like. It's full right now, as you guys can see. And I think it looks really great. Now I'm just going to put on the lid. Now if you guys would like to do um, a, a bow or a ribbon or whatever you guys want to do. So I'm just going to take my ribbon and just, or a bow, whatever you call this thing. Uh, and just put it on top. And then I'm just going to take my uh, label. Now if you guys want to use Christmas labels, you can. And I'm just going to write two because I don't know who I'm going to give this to yet. So I'm just going to put it on this jar right here and just write to and from. But you guys can use Christmas labels if you want. It does not matter. I'm just writing that. Because I don't know who I'm going to get this to. But this is what it looks like. And I think it turned out really cute. And this is such a simple present. Because, um, number one, it's very cheap to do. And it's very affordable. And I really like it because um, it was very simple to do. And I just think it's the uh, best gift to give. And because if someone uh, really likes their nails, this is the perfect gift for them. And you can just give this to, about, uh, to any of your uh, friends and your uh, mom or your sister or whoever really likes doing nails. So I hope you guys enjoyed this simple, easy gift idea slash DIY. And if you guys do recreate this, uh, don't forget to use the hashtag simple DIY Christmas series 2015. I would love to see your recreations if you guys do give this a try. Now, obviously, I didn't come up with this. I see a lot of people doing this on YouTube, but I just wanted to do one of my own on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and leave a comment below letting me know what you guys think of this. And if you guys want more DIYs like this, I will do that more in the future. So um, I will see you guys in my next Christmas video.